welcome to Sorted Foods, the live rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 The light. You, like, you stand. <laughs> What's going on? You stand behind. The light goes to the side. Yeah. Well, no, we put it in front of you perfectly, and he just stood directly in front of you. I think it's fine. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm from Jamie's uh, channel operator. This is a very professional setup. Um, this is all for the Battle Royale with cheese. We have lights. We have a lot of smoke, we have some delicious food at the ready. We've got an amazing crew here ready to knock this thing out of the park and to bonkers lights in an incredible kitchen! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> no, no, no one gave Cush an air horn. He brought one in himself. Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> Have you slept this week? A little bit, a little, little, little bit. Also, um, anything this rehearsal is, um, the other person who's meant to be here as part of Battling Push is, is James Curry, and he's decided not to turn up today uh, as part of rehearsal. Some would say it's going to his head. He's obviously very confident. He's, I know, he doesn't need to rehearse. He won the last one, didn't he? The last yeah. one, so maybe he's carrying that. Well, that was because... Kush didn't make anything that was edible. No, that's true. <laughs> now, hopefully, Kush is going to put up a bit more of a fight tomorrow night. Uh, right, we've got, uh, well, over 680 people where that have joined us. Where are you messaging from? Um, because this battle is going to be live tomorrow night, and we want you all to join from wherever you are around the world. Rhode Island, Yorkshire, Barry needs a mic. Kush has this at the ready. Uh, Kush, read the top symbol. What does that say? Please do not move. Put it back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I can't keep up with the comments. Switzerland, Brighton, your studio. Oh, who's that? Uh, <laughs> Glasgow, Shanghai, Colorado, Hull, Wisconsin, Wales, Sweden. Get in. Right, Jay, go, go, go give everyone a talk. Um, I think we're all quite proud of what we've set up here. I will do. Uh, just big shout out to Timolay, who's um, heading off to London next weekend to watch the play that goes wrong. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. You're probably ever there. He's there every week. Uh, Squishy Fish says, I'm stuck in your toilet. Please send help. Ebbers! <laughs> what have you done? I've not lost anyone anywhere. <laughs> How's it going? Um, can you explain what's going on in the, in the set? Uh, welcome to my ring. So this is the... <laughs> Don't let him get away with that, Is No. This is our boxing ring where all of our cooking battles are going to take place. Everyone's doing like fight club and boxing like battle offs and stuff. And we thought, let's do the same with food. So we're fight doing club. a three event uh, celebration tomorrow. Three different cooking battles. It's all going to happen. Lovely. And that's why we've got the boxing ring set up ready to go. Did I just get some secrets on your laptop screen? No, no, no. No? Good. You sure? Yeah. You got secrets I'm on yours? researching. You're researching wrestling? Yeah. Lovely. Yes, Perfect. <laughs> um, right. Do you want to talk us through the first battle? Yes. So the first battle, uh, I am hosting. And that is because we're putting Jamie against Mike in something we've never done before. We're calling it the five minute mayhem. Uh, think of it like this. Half an hour improvised cooking where both boys are going to be cooking at the same time, one dish each. And then... Every five minutes, i.e. the mayhem, the chaos bit, we're going to throw in a new ingredient. They have to incorporate that into their finished dish. So they're on a path, they're kind of thinking, they're using, I don't know, a banana, they've got a crazy little banana, and then next thing they get thrown in, I don't know, another ingredient, like a chilli pepper. And then they think, how do I do that? And then, and then another ingredient, another ingredient, another ingredient, five ingredients, every five minutes, half an hour cooking, we'll crown a winner. Actually, I say we will crown a winner. We've also got some studio guests tomorrow. Some of you guys are going to be joining us in the studio to be the crowd and to be our ringside judges. Uh, lots of people saying, can we give Ebbers a mic, please? You need to speak up. I, I'm We're speaking. filming this on a phone. Is There's no microphones. I've not got my hand on the microphone. <laughs> I'm cupping it to come closer to you. Uh, hello, Carmen from Singapore. It's 11.34 p.m. That's great. Matt is joining from Slovakia. Uh, Paris. 
Where's Mike? He's adjusting his cap, probably. Uh, actually, I think he's probably in the toilet again. <laughs> he's, uh, he, he's sorting out his costume. Uh, no peeks at that just Almost yet. Sorry. I know there's been lots of comments going, why, sort of, you're a food channel. Why, why are you focusing on, on, on a sports bathroom event? I have no idea, no. No reason, it might be we've got a new sponsorship, sponsoring the channel, and so on. So it's a bit I specifically now. clicked the button that said no paid product placement in this video. Hashtag you, not an ad. Hey, do you not think I could be the next athlete for Prime? He's desperate to get in there as a side man. Do you think you yes. could be the next athlete for Prime? No. No. no I don't. Uh, right, let's go and have a look at. Uh, hi, Mike. Hi, Emma. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? It's a crafting corner. Crafting corner. Crafting corner. <laughs> are you being crafty? We, yeah, we're. So the letters, the, the sequiny letters on my uh, boxing gown have come off, so we are glue gunning them back. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this feels like a really good omen for the, your battle tomorrow. Yeah. It, yeah, it's fine. It's all falling off like his face. It's going wrong now, <laughs> so it will all go right tomorrow. I you could still storm. I like you. What? Yeah, yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Harry, we know that this is not your strong point. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what are you doing with the glue gun? Um, waiting for some clear glue to come through because I think pink is really fine. We've <laughs> <laughs> only got pink glue, so... <laughs> this whole thing is just... It's all going very well. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, it's going to be great for you guys watching it. It's, um, it's just ridiculous. So Absolutely ridiculous. So, this is the first time that we're doing a live show that doesn't include a pass it on, but yeah. does include three different battles. Yeah, uh, it is basically influence boxing is taking over. And I thought, well, we've been having fights on the internet for 13 years just around food. So let's give it some of that. We want a slice of that pie. And, you know, in a very <laughs> sorted way, once we actually put our heads together, what we've created is just cooking nonsense. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be big and it's going to be very silly and it's it's lunacy basically it's just lunacy it is lunacy uh people saying oh yanni says that mike looks like a member of new kids on the block thanks uh got another uh one saying can you make it say huttle stormzy <laughs> oh that would be good he's got a track called big michael which i would love to use so stormzy i know you're watching do you want to license me the use of that track <laughs> obviously that song goes perfectly with my demeanour, so it would be absolutely perfect for a ring walk. Yeah? You're, well, you're right. A lot of people are kicking off about the end of the sound because Jamie's rubbish phone and case. We're back! We're, We're back. back! Stop right. cupping the did, mic. Did I fix the mic? Hashtag Jamie. Is it open to Steve? Hello, I'm going to keep talking. You can say in the comments whether you can hear this now because... Um, we've taken Jamie's four-ply condom. Someone saying, uh, they're so glad that we're Why getting... Why is he his chin? Why is he face? He can't... Why are you so close? <laughs> because people can't hear him, so I have to get close. <laughs> Otherwise... We have some really skilled camera operators in yep. this room. Well, th then they gave me the phone. They didn't. They, they didn't. did. They really sure. did. Right, right. right. Then give it to me. I think it's now. <laughs> Just explain, <laughs> explain yourself, Jamie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's this? I'm hosting tomorrow. So uh, when I'm done doing my battle, we need to have the ring host and that's going to be me for the second two battles so i get to do the i'm coming in with a minimum of talent <laughs> it's very <laughs> taylor that kind of thing. you were born for it mate. I was, I was you born, were born for it I was really born. all the comments are now saying the video quality and the audio is now amazing <laughs> <laughs> i don't understand why <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna never explain that. Never, never explain that to never any never anybody. Uh, right. So we've talked about mine and Mike's battle. Yeah. That's gonna be the first one coming up. That's the five minute mayhem. Wait, wait. Have we <laughs> mentioned? <laughs> no, we've not. So there's going to be a punishment. Whoever loses, whoever is judged to be the loser, will have their beard removed at the end of the live show. Well, you're going to stop. I'm going to. You're going to. I'm yeah. taking it all off. It's I'm, all going wet shaving. 
but you want to design my facial hair. Yeah, I also I think could be tap dancing into some really murky waters, <laughs> depending on where you, where you go. The good news is, I asked on Instagram the other day for people to comment, and I think maybe we should comment now. What suggestions for facial hair designs could we do? Let's let's have a study. Let's it have a study. Give us a tour. It's so cocksure, and that's the reason. Like this. When we planned all of this, we were just like, let's have loads of fun. Let's make it really big, really silly. Like, take, you know, pay homage, but also tongue in cheek, this type of event. And then he was so cocksure of himself in our little interview that I was like, fine, take the beard off. If, if you lose, if you're so confident, take the beard off. And uh, now we both really, really, we really, regret, regr that. We really regret that. We've got uh, really handlebars. That. We've got lightning bolts. We've got, um, we want... Uh, Dictator? No, we want a, a neck beard. A neck? Yeah, do you know I thought the neck beard? The neck beard. Oh, we know. So no moustache, <laughs> yeah. nothing up here, and it's just, all just down there. You know, like Richard Smith used to have. It. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> it's all just down yeah. here. I think that would be horrific. I like the chin strap. Yeah. That could be a really good uh, Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln. Ooh, could, yeah, yeah, nice. I'd go, for that. I'd go for that. Also, just the beard with no moustache just looks. Odd, and I think I, would look very odd. On I think just to, you know, when I win, uh, just to make this last even more, I think we should take a series of photos and release them on consecutive days <laughs> on Sorted to make sure that everyone gets full visibility of it. Yeah, so if you haven't seen photos from the end of February 2020, it's um, the best thing you ever I seen. accidentally took too much of this part of my beard off and thought, I'm going to have to get rid of it i'm just going to get rid of it and i'll start again and it'll be fine what i didn't realize is that we were just about to go into lockdown so before we went to lockdown we batch filmed so many videos and i had no beard i was completely clean shaven and i think the best phrase i could use was mr toad i looked <laughs> like mr toad and it was terrible and i don't want to do it again uh, comment here saying, could Barry please say he's got a cunning plan? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a lot of comments that sound like Baldrick? Uh, right. right. Let's go and have a look around. <laughs> come into the kitchen. Check, come into Emma's ring. Welcome. Welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. Come in. <laughs> I'm just enjoying all the comments coming through, especially the one that says they cannot wait to see you. That slipping damper, but clean shaven. When you leave, oh. it's harsh. It's going to take years off you, mate. It's really not. It will. It's, really, it's going to take years off and put pounds on, mate. <laughs> so once I finish hosting event number one, uh, what, was it? what is event number two? Event number two, tag tip. I'm over here, Bill. Event number two <laughs> is a tag team battle. We're pitching, team sorted. That's Barry and Ben working together. I know, that's gonna be interesting. Versus what we're calling Team Lagom Era, which is a lovely Portmantius. Portmantius of, look, what are you doing? There's a comment that's come in from a guy called Skunk saying, the name's Bond, Toad Bond. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the Welsh flag as his uh, profile pic, so I'm, I'm for that. I'm Martin that. from uh, Le Gom Chef. He's been on the channel a couple of times. He did the most incredible 10 minute burger challenge uh, last year. Um, incredibly entertaining. Incredibly entertaining. He's massive on TikTok and Instagram. He's utter, utter chaos. Him and one of his best mates, Sarah, who is a barbecue outdoor cooking chef, she is brilliant. He's bringing her along and they're going to team up to go against Baz and Ben in an ultimate tag team. They've got to create a, it's a dessert you're making, isn't it? It's the ultimate Yeah, finish. yeah, so all of their skills are going to be really useful <laughs> in that battle. Um, Tony Lovehart just <laughs> said, you need to clean your lens because it's really misty. It's not the lens, it's just the entire studio is going to be filled with smoke tomorrow <laughs> to add to the vibes. Hey, Bruce, can, can you just disappear out of frame and then appear again with smoke, please? Tonight, Ben Eberl will be... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very misty in here. Um, so that battle is going to be brilliant. 30 minutes of cooking, they've got to create a dessert. They've got to tag in and out six times. So... Everyone's going to get three goes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't decided if this is 
per team or as an event? Per team. No, no, per team. Six times per team, so yes. 12 tags in and out. 12 tags Goodness in and out. Goodness me. That's going to be uh, a very, 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 very busy one. That's the doorbell, because um, this morning our dishwasher broke, not good before a live event, so I think that's our dishwasher... No! ...who's about to walk into this. <laughs> it's hard enough to explain it the best of times. Um, Kirsch? Yes? Can we see some of your fridges? Uh, there you go. Let's... Let's... Jamie Cam's back. Jamie Cam's me. back. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. Just did that. Right, where are we going? Let's come into the development kitchen. Yeah. We've got fire. That's got... how many blow torches do you need? I'm just testing out, you know. That is so loud. What? I'm just getting ready. Got a smoke gun. If we just put a canister of butane in a fire, yeah, that'd be good. Would it? I don't know. No, I don't Content. think it would. Content. Right, put that out. What's on your notice board? Kush, Kush, I'm your biggest fan. Can you provide hand towels, please? Uh, <laughs> From Jenny. To Hero Course. Yeah. Love you, Kush. Yeah, it's not like I write these myself. <laughs> um, but do come over to something that Kush did write, which Oi. is the most passy ag. It's just ag. Jenny? Dumping from Jenny, set here. Oh. oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, hello. <laughs> We might have a dishwasher by tomorrow because a gentleman has just come to fix it for us. What a hero. <laughs> um, uh, right. So saying, is the uh, premium live event tomorrow, right? Well, it kind of depends on which time zone you're in. But yes, London time is tomorrow night, Saturday night from 5pm. 5pm to 8pm. It's a... Oh, where are the lights going? It's a... It's a... Well, it's a nice... We're <laughs> <laughs> um, going have to charge more. Can you more. explain about the third battle? Yes, the third battle is where it gets real, because, uh, so if you remember, those of you who joined our Snow Way Out live show at Christmas, we had a three-way chef off, um, and it was so frantic in half an hour, there was too much going on, we thought, actually, let's just put the two heads of food, past and present, against each other head-to-head. -head. So this is the Kush versus James Curry battle off. It is, it is the battle royale with cheese and supreme, double portion <laughs> right on the side, that kind of vibe. They're going to have half an hour to go absolutely mad and create a stadium filler treat. They have to use a whole chilli dog as well, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> what, what I'm excited for is the, the, the chefiness. Like, it, you've got all of this, and it's lights, camera, nonsense, as I've said. But you've got two chefs who both really care. Like, they're both like, yeah, you know, whatever, but they both desperately want to win. And I've heard some of the ideas coming from both of them, not fully, but they sound amazing. So having to take, basically, a stadium filler type of dish and make it gourmet, we're going to see some proper chefy virtuoso skills. And that's the thing that I'm really excited for. That's going to be amazing. Uh, Barry, I'm coming over to you, Barry. Yeah, Barry, 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 Barry. Hi, Runa. Um, fantastic comments, by the way. Keep them coming. It's really funny. Um, really I funny. can see people are asking, um, how much does this cost and what happens if I can't make it tomorrow evening? Uh, well, we, the, tell you what, this is a bargain. Uh, because this is a short... <laughs> this, is short a, this, is a bargain. this is a bargain. Because this is a bargain. This is a bargain. What bargain this is costing is a bargain. Summer one. Uh, it's a £10 ticket. Uh, you can go over to Sort of Food and see all the information there. Call us live? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, information you set it up! I did. I know that's why I'm nervous. It's in the video description box. Go there. Downstairs. Go check it out. Um, and also, you can watch it live tomorrow night. But also, it's available for having a job. Until the 30th of April. Until the 30th of April, you can watch it on tomorrow, on tomorrow whenever you like. Um, you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to get ridiculous. I don't know what's going to happen. So, it's, yeah. And can you, can you just confirm? Because previously, yeah. it was going to be on demand for 48 hours. Yeah. Whose idea was that? <laughs> and, what, and, what, and what happened? Uh, people didn't give it angry. <laughs> no, it, it, <laughs> anger is extreme. It wasn't yeah. angry. People just asked. That's quite short. Can we extend it? Quite short. And the thing is, we, we thought we because this is a short <laughs> broadcast, <laughs> we need less time to watch it. At the same time, not everyone's available tomorrow night um, to watch it. So we've extended it so you can watch it over a couple of weekends whenever it suits you guys. That sounds perfect. Um, people are asking if there's going to be a punishment for um, you and Ben when you lose. Um, someone's su suggesting Ben in spandex. I mean, that is already, that is I, already yeah, that's, planned. That's, that's not the punishment. That's <laughs> 
that's that's a plan. Um, ben gets a different haircut. Ben will have. You mean Ben will have two haircuts in his lifetime? Yeah, exactly. Or he could take the one off. And then put a Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's a. <laughs> That sounds good. Um, to confirm, yeah. people are saying it's actually going to cost eleven pounds and six pence when they go to Eventbrite. That's because Eventbrite had a booking fee. Yeah, that's, that's not us. We don't get that. We don't get that. So ten pounds. Ten pounds. <laughs> <laughs> will there be alcohol? Um, yes. There will be a lot of alcohol consumed by anyone in the room who wants to probably not the professionals who will make both visual and audio quality much better than this but kush has the beer fridge open and it's over there uh, other brands do apply but there is a selection there which we will be enjoying oh there's janice <laughs> i think that is actually the only appearance that janice is going to be making um uh, for the live show saw some people asking about that Jamie, comments here saying you're like a team or a wish version of James Bond. Yeah, I saw one that said, don't worry, <laughs> we have James Bond at home. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. You're so kind. I, I, I cannot wait for Lagoon. 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 Lagoon, Chef. Lagoon. 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 Getting them in the kitchen and battling them, I'm, I'm not nervous in the food point of view because I've seen uh, what the one from Cook in that in, in our burger that he did. I'm not that little threatened. But as characters and with the, 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 the passion they're going to come, um, I, think, I think we're in for a fight, that's for sure. I'm, and people are really liking the, uh, the sign behind you. We've got some decent branding there. We've got it on the cards. We, we, we go bold on the branding, come on. Can I have a look at the cards? Oh, that's some script. That's, script. Wait, that's some script. It's semi-scripted. It's intros and outros. Um, well, this is the fun thing, and this is what people always ask, actually, is why are we rehearsing a live show where we don't know what happens? There's so well, many little things to happen. Lights, cameras. So we've got, this is our, we've got multiple sets within this room. So this is our sort of analytics, sort of studio setup, commentary desk. So we'll have two people here, and they'll be analysing the performances of the battles going on. Then we have our kitchen set, obviously, which you can see. Hi, Dom. Hello. This is where all the cooking will take place. 30 minutes of some of the best slash interesting Ooh. cooking you've ever seen. <laughs> and it's probably worth pointing out that whilst there are cue cards and scripts and kind of ins and outs so we can make sure we, we have the production yeah. tight, the what first happens? event, you boys have no idea what your <laughs> mayhem ingredients are. So nope. It's all improvised. The second event, uh, whilst we have an idea and a plan and kind of a bit of a research in our head, we have not tried or tested the recipe, so what happens on the day, happens on the day, and we have to keep tagging in and out, so that'll be chaos. And the final event, well, the pressure is on, because as somebody said, is it just bragging rights for the final event? Oh, yeah. Yes. I thought it was a they job. They are so, so, so up against it, they do not want to lose. So I thought there was a job up for grabs. Jake, can we have a introduce <laughs> to our uh, special effects specialist, is, is, is he? Hello! We've been with us for how many years? It'll be seven this year. Seven years and tonight, <laughs> tomorrow night for one night only, special effects. <laughs> we have, yes. what do we have? This is all the lighting set up for the battles. Uh, can, we, can, we, can we have a different, different lighting? Yes. Oh, do we need to do a warning? We might need to. Flashing warning. lights, lots of flashing strobe lights. Strobe warning, strobe, strobe warning. warning. You know it's going to go crazy. Okay. Shut this your eyes if you don't like it. Should we, are we saying where, which lights are for what? Or yeah, go for it, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, I didn't want to get surprised. Okay, for the ring walkout, when we're introducing people, this is our strobe lighting, everything effects. Oh, like, yeah. Really. Flash, Done warning. It. Flash, Flash warning. Flash warning. Flash warning. Even more smoke. Um, and then we've got, we'll go back to our I love how you lovely have your normal. Smoke. I know. <laughs> your smoking gun. Ready to go. <laughs> we'll keep it nearby. We've got our winner's lights, party lights. Oh, yeah. Whenever somebody wins. I'll get used to this. <laughs> <laughs> Will you? Yeah. Right, fine, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, what else have we got? We've got, we've got the getting ready to battle, red light. Are you ready? Battle's on. Very exciting. Wow. Michelle C is asking, will there be costumes? Oh. Big question, big question, big question. There's one hanging there. There is. <laughs> There's always costumes. I think we have, this is called the Battle Royale with cheese. For a reason. It's going to be cheesy. Will, be will the beard shave happen live? Absolutely, yes. 
as long as I win. No! And it's clean, no. clean shaven. Like, it's not just a beard trim. We're going like razor blades. Oh, for me, yeah, it's completely yeah. clean. Yeah, for him, I'll design it on the night. Okay. Yeah. And we're filming next week, so you get to see it even more. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Should we take you through this, through the gangway? Through the gangway. Safety first. Wait, wait, wait. Obviously, we're going to do this. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> My lungs. Um, if we're going to do, you know, this type of event justice, we need ring walks. So we're actually inviting um, people into the studio. We will have a live crowd. Um, they're all booked in. They'll be standing all around here, all around the edge of the ring. And we each have our own ring walk track. And we will walk out into the crowd, walk around the ring. In the, here you go. We've got light programs. We've got music shows. It's going to be nuts, um, and yeah, we're going to uh, make our way into the ring. We're going to have a proper face-off. Uh, we're going to have a proper announcement. Um, all that silliness, you know, like now entering the ring, when Someone's just asked if Michael Buffer's going to be here. Michael Buffer was unavailable, but uh, actually he said he'd do it for free because he's such a big Sorted fan. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, he's uh, otherwise engaged. Uh, but yeah, we've got all of that. It's just going to be, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think that's the big thing. Very competitive. <laughs> Everyone is like, yeah, this is great. Like, we're going to have such a laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really want to win. Like, <laughs> Absolutely I'm want to win. 100% going for the win. So, for the final time, where can people get tickets? Uh, down below. Excellent. That's a different kind of show. <laughs> but it's the show for tomorrow night, basically, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so, the, the, the tickets are available down below. Yes. Uh, it's £10. £10, yeah. Three hours. We basically, we, we know we do the big weekenders, which are great and um, amazing, but we thought, hey, do you know what? Let's throw out some stuff that uh, perhaps is a little bit more affordable for, affordable for people so that they can come and watch and join in as well. So this is a proper sort of tester of one of those types of events. Let's just make it really fun. Um, it will be a great three hours uh, on a Saturday evening. Um, if you can't make it, you can watch it for, a, you know, up until the 30th of... April afterwards. And um, you can stream it onto your TV. Yeah, and most importantly, like we want people commenting and like Joining sharing in. jokes. Like all the funny hashtags about Ebers, like Team X, Team Y, like why you think people are gonna win and just getting involved and you know, just have an amazing evening uh, sort of together live. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. That was it's great. Um, now we've done a lot of plugging. Oh. So maybe we should just leave the plugging for the live show there. But we have got two and a half minutes before our second podcast goes live. So and I wonder whether we plug that instead. We've done a podcast. <laughs> our first episode launched on Friday, last Friday. We have a new one coming out at 5pm. Please watch it. Um, yeah, we created a fictional pub, which used to be here. <laughs> Emma's standing in it. <laughs> um, and uh, we just thought, you know, let's really talk about food and life and funny stories so we found some of the most interesting people uh with the most interesting walks of life and the ways in which food has played a part in that journey to try and understand if we can learn anything from that uh to really find out how food makes them tick and how food has helped them achieve what they've achieved and it's probably is five percent serious and 95 percent laughing and just real fun so and today's episode is with Cyan and Anderson. So, I mean, restaurateur, DJ, TV presenter, um, cook, book, author, um, just done incredible stuff. Uh, Ed Sheeran basically told her to uh, open her restaurant, so she did. Um, yeah, right, really fascinating. And the best thing about it is that Ebbers went on a date in her restaurant Acted shifty no, throughout the whole no, thing. Acted, acted so shifty that she thought he was from the council. I'm not going to say anything more, but the whole thing kicked off. <laughs> and the story's amazing. So. Go and listen to it. Enjoy it. It's going to be on the channel in the next minute or so. But just for clarity... Right, oh, that's so been... We, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we don't need to hear that. We will see all of you... Uh, tomorrow, 5 p.m., be here for the ultimate battle royale with yeah. cheese. Yeah. Let's bring it on!